today on the 50 pound brain we're gonna end up changing these connectors because look they just fall right off that one was okay the rest of them I drove it a block and I got a misfire on number one because this one had backed off so we got our new connectors yesterday so we're gonna go ahead and install them I'll show you one the whole process is the same for all four these look like they need some love anyway so we're gonna make it happen okay the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all this tape off oh this you know that's just shield I thought it was a splice we're gonna cut all this tape off all the way back to this branch actually we might have to go down into the branch a little bit I'll have to see what the wire looks like because we're gonna put all new connectors on and they come with probably this much wire at least so we're gonna cut it down but uh, I'm not gonna show you the wire tape cutting process just because we're cutting tape that's it and we're gonna be cutting looks like we're well, there's not even shield so I don't think I don't see any so we'll come back when this is stripped all right so luckily the old Haynes manual has a wiring diagram I'm gonna verify the wire colors I don't know what that is shielding I guess white red yeah okay that's shielding I see it now but there's no common power but we do these have to be properly polarized or I don't think the coil will, will work I'm not for certain but we'll see so I got to verify these wire colors because they are different on both sides of the coil green yellow green L what is L blue green yellow green blue green red green brown black although they all splice together they're all different colors so we can make the assumption that the green base color goes to ground which is fine actually it looks like it goes to power to tell you the truth it goes to a fuse so it gets a ground I don't know what it does yeah, I don't know what it does so could trace it back but just got to make sure that I stick with the right polarities on the new connectors that's short story long that's what we have to do all right so here's what we've got in our diagram and we have to make sure that our polarities stay correct so I really it doesn't really matter who's who as long as we keep our pins straight but we get 12 volts comes in on the top here and these coils get a ground from the PCM when they're intended to fire so but yeah end of the day as long as our wires go to the same pin right and left we'll be good to go you can disregard this black and red because I don't know that that is uh, correct as far as plus and minus 12 volts so doesn't matter just make sure this wire goes in the red in this case this wire goes in the black on all four of these and we'll be good to go all right so for my wire joints I like to do handshakes interlocking hooks just because I got to do this single-handed no uh, solder assistant thing with the you know the u-shaped thing with the two alligator clips that hold these together and then you can do not a butt joint but they lay the two conductors lay on top of each other and you saw them together and they just lay there so um, plus this being a hot area I don't want the solder to maybe turn soft 
when they're just laying together. So I want them to be interlocked like this. So, all right. And there's our joint. I hope that's in focus. And there's our solder joint. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. I hope it's in focus. So we're going to do all of them like that. Got our heat shrink on here already. Going to fit right over that just like that. So let's get after it. Now I wound, unwound the shield off of this wire, our, our number two cylinder, negative. And uh, this wire that's encapsulated with our ignition wire is our ground for the shield. So that has to stay there. And it's kind of crusty, but there's not much I can really can do about it. So I'm going to unwrap this, do our splicing, and then wrap this back around our new wires. And then press on the next cylinder. Cylinder one had enough distance that I didn't have to get into that. But two, three, and four are gonna be like this. Okay, there's our second one. Now, I showed you this because I just wanna show you how I've staggered the joints. So that we just didn't end up with a big ball right here in the same spot. And the other thing I wanted to point out is strip and tin your wire before you put your heat shrink on it. Because what can happen, and is what happened on this one, is the heat can, can wick down the wire and shrink your heat shrink even though it's pushed back a little bit. I couldn't push this one back very far because of the shield. And so it was pretty close to the heat source. And so the end of it sh shrunk, I had to cut it off so I could get it over the joint. So these aren't so bad, but yeah, do your stripping and tinning, then put your heat shrink on and then you can do your joint because that shouldn't require as much heat just enough to get the two solders to blend. All right, let's heat shrink this and be done with this one. Actually, I'm gonna heat shrink them all at the same time, but we're 50% done. We're probably only into this 30 minutes only because it takes so much time to prepare the wires and cut them not too long, not too short, but give a little bit more slack than was in the original harness. So, Rome didn't burn in a day. Now I would, I wanna show you, let me see if I can get a good background. So this joint right here hadn't even been soldered yet. The wires have been tinned and the handshake's been established, but I just been, they, I just smashed down the hooks, smashed closed the hooks so that, I mean, if I wanted to, if I wanted to be really cheesy, I could, uh, I could just throw heat shrink over that and it would work for quite some time. But um, I'm not gonna do that, but I wanted to show you that the mechanical joint is just as important as the solder joint. In case the solder joint fails, You've still got the mechanical joint to back you up. All right, we're done. Red racing wiring harness, because Vivian's a thoroughbred. She's ready to run, run free. We'll let her run free on the highways here in a couple weeks. All right, thanks for watching.